Hello, Internet friends. My name is Bay. The forehead and the gray shirt are here today for more Final Fantasy VII Rebirth. But I'm bad. A light commentary playthrough where the game does most of the talking and not me. Because there's lots of talking in this game. Although with this mini game we're doing, this is the last one I have to do. The, uh, the frustration definitely comes through because I don't think these mini games are very fun. Are they challenging? Yes. A little bit difficult? Sure. Fun? No. We got my top three things I don't like so far about Seven Rebirth is the Cactuar Crush hard modes. Not fun. The Odin encounter, because if you don't just Oonga Boonga it, then you lose. And then the uh, Glide to Chocobo minigame that we did back in Cosmo Canyon the first time. The falling minigame? Garbage. But here is the last one we have to do for our last elixir. 6,000 points. Let's see if we can do it. I'm starting right with this, even though I probably shouldn't and start with something else, but there's not much to do left before we move on. Oh, I got charged through, I guess. A little weird. I don't know, it doesn't really matter what light what element we use. I'm just playing this one out, see what we're looking at, spawn wise. What a big one. far apart, unfortunate. Oh, okay. I guess I didn't see that. A lot of big ones. Whoa, whoa. Someone need a rest? 
put one more little one over there. Alright, this one was the easiest by far. That was my first time doing it. The previous Yuffie one, there were so many cactuar that kept changing element. And the biggest thing about it was how frequent the camera would just... You can go watch the previous episode of this. I had to keep live editing because it was just like... Camera was just... Because there were so many more running around the outside of the camera so that the camera has to keep up with something. It was just a nightmare of just audio-visual vomit. That was not that bad. The other ones were bad, though. Hello, Gorek. Hello, R4. Hello again, Mutton. Just got done with the OG part of my Final Fantasy play. So soon time to start with Rebirth. Oh, you're watching the remake. Well, you got the DLC, too. Don't forget the, uh, the intermission DLC. It's only six parts, though. Pretty short. But it is directly connected. Although there's still stuff in the DLC that I guess doesn't have any connection at all to this. Because the, the boss in the Yuffie DLC for Remake, there's been no connection at all with Rebirth yet. So I wonder if they're going to leave that until the third game. We still have two chapters of this game left, but I'm wondering. Oh, you finished your 7 Remake playthrough? Nah, wait. R4 already? Did you do all of Remake and the DLC? Are you not doing any of the hard mode stuff? The hard mode playthrough to do the extra bosses and combats and stuff? Yeah, just normal mode. That's fair. Okay. That's done. It is a lot of game. And I mean, I know I play slower and I do every little thing. And I've done some stuff off stream that's accounted to extra hours. But I'm like 120 hours in or something like that. For Rebirth. This game's huge. <clears throat> Obviously, your playtime is going to vary depending on how well you do certain mini games. Yeah, that sounds about right. I think in overall for Remake, it was 45 or so hours for me. That's including the DLC. But I was going back through the New Game Plus, and it already just doubled the playtime. I thought it would be actually faster because I'm skipping cutscenes. But some of the combats are just longer, so they just... That was excellent work in completing our survey through your efforts. The ways in which Shinra shaped these lands for weal and for woe are now much more clearly understood. Of special interest is the gold saucer's effect on the soil, a testament to the ecological impact of technology. Thank you so much for your invaluable contributions. This is the last materia. I don't think he has anything else right now, right? I think we're done until anything else opens up. Oh, that's right. The last region battle now. OG squad. What is this music? Deal with that. That's Nothing to worry about. No time to celebrate. They have like super soakers. It looks so funny. <laughs> this battle music is crazy right now. What is this? Yeah. He's 
guys are annoying. Is it Frost? Keep it together. Oh yeah, let's see if I can do the timing on this. That's what I'm wondering if that combo with Trinity Strike is, is you star shower into it because you can basically almost make it do two hits of nearly damage cap. The first two hits together get near damage cap and the final hit is basically damage cap itself. The Cockatrice? Go on. It's on you. Gravityed. Force against me, just fine, but almost every real NPC enemy in this game is immune to gravity. Regular enemies you can use it on, but. What the hell? It's just Kid G again? With two da dark claws? <laughs> no holding back. Go on. Bruh. I got your number. And he has the, the 40,000 HP. What the hell? And these both have 30,000? Holy shit. Take the lead. I got this. Oh my god, the freaking camera, dude. I'm not going out like this. Yeah, I'm about to say, holy shit. I okay. That didn't go off, I guess. All right then. Yeah, this might be a restart. Oh my god. <laughs> okay. Wowza. Those first three waves, garbage. Then it's a triple boss wave all of a sudden. One of the bosses gets you to one HP. If you don't dodge their attack. So, you know, that's fun. Here I come. Good grief. 
I have to take out the Dark Claws first, so I can't deal with both of them doing the 1 HP attack. Hmm. Us again. Oh, that's right, three waves of garbage. They were the last wave. I just didn't even remember this wave being a thing because it was. Take the they were junk. counter of this combat challenge. Don't overdo it. Let me handle Damn, it. this is terrifying. Because there's no innate weaknesses on anyone in here, so it's just pure... I just have to dodge their attacks. Ugh. Oh my god, okay. I'm just gonna get the cast off. She did not get the cast off. Oh, okay, they can just do a hit scan. Okay. No, a little live edit, I guess. We're going back in. All right, we'll try again. No holding back. Still here. <laughs> this ends here. Wow, Iggy immediately stunned Cloud. All right, 
Um. I can't move, so he can't do anything about this. That's super lame. So is that? Dude, this sucks. It's your turn. Okay, let's go. Shake it off. Yeah. Ready? Yeah. 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 Ugh. Can't stop to attack them. The moment I stop, Kid G is going to punch me for half my health. That was a cool pose. targeting that dark claw this dark claw is right in front of me you know i think this this is supposed to show there's a material i haven't started using yet which i guess this is supposed to show it you're supposed to start using it now gotta get limit breaks up hold on let's do this all right There's one down. It's on you. Here Just to see. I'll help you through this. Hey, uh, come on. Can you take over? Hey, you keep it together. Okay, let's go. What the hell? I knocked it in the air and I couldn't hit it anymore. Oh, crap. Yep, this is potion. That might miss, actually. Nope. I'll take that. It did not. Why don't you lead the Let's way? Let's do this. Get ready. Get ready. Let's do this. 
Dolphin. A little early, but. And we're safe. All right, that was nuts. That was, that was nasty. But yeah, there's a, there's a materia. I'm gonna be probably redoing some materia on some few characters that just the, um, the synergy materia, where if someone else uses an ability that you, when you gain one little pip of synergy, they will gain it as well, even if they didn't do something. So probably really good on Aerith or whoever you're usually not mainly playing as. So they can build synergy while not having to not having to spend their ATB to gain their own. So it's easier to use synergy abilities. You character like if you're playing on Tifa a lot, she's gonna build up plenty of synergy herself. All normal combat simulator challenges. Indeed. All right. This data is incredible. Thank you for your con I look forward to seeing what new discoveries you make in your travels. All right, there was one side quest over here. Which I think is like the last one. Can't stop, won't stop. The ultimate party animal. Oh, I've heard this one is bugged. The gold saucer entrance. Hello, disciples of diversions and delights. To you, I issue a challenge. I... Once a man of middling achievements, now lauded as a champion of champions, have set new scores in the most beloved of the gold saucer's many attractions. Oh, God. This is what Dalthir was talking about. Come, players, and pit your skills against mine and strive to claim my title of ultimate party animal. I have heard this quest is bugged, and I have not read that there was a patch for it yet or anything. Oh, the entrance to Old Saucer changed. People aren't doing the mosh pit. Oh my god. This Shindra guy just won't go away. Whoa, what's the occasion? What a coincidence meeting you here. Taking some time off to max and relax? You're that Shinra paper pusher. You know it! <laughs> so you're into dancing? There's nothing more freeing! After years of slaving away for the company, this white collar worker has finally learned how to let loose and have fun. <laughs> After I put in for a leave of absence, I bid farewell to Costa del Sol and made my way to this golden paradise. Oh gosh, of those animations are breaking. <laughs> oh no. I've been trying out all the attractions to help clear my mind. And before I knew it, I'd somehow racked up more high scores than I could count. Can you believe it? Now everyone's calling me the ultimate party animal. It's the same guy <laughs> from the train, not yes. The title I ever imagined earning. Yeah. Speaking of, there's a campaign called the Ultimate Party Animal Challenge that's scheduled to start quite soon. The goal is to try and beat the high scores yours truly set on all the attractions. Part of the reason we're dancing here now is to advertise the event. Uh... You're more than welcome to get in on the fun. I've got high hopes for you, so don't let me down! <laughs> oh no. High score at Musclehead, high score at Chocobo, high score at G Bike, and high score in Galactic Saviors. Hmm. Well, just when I thought I was out, they pulled me back in. 
Um, let's start with the Galactic Pew Pew Pew. So what is bugged about this quest? Just that if you do it all, it doesn't complete or what? It's also unfortunate that a side quest completion is bugged of anything. Owner of these scores are based off your previous. Yeah, I don't know. I knew you'd answer the call. Without further ado, let's see if you can top the high score set by the living legend. Me, the ultimate party animal. We'll find out, I guess, if I can control my character. Ready for blast off, Ranger? Oh. So if I've already got over that score... I've already done it then. But I still have to do it again. Like, I already beat the high score by over 4,000 points. But I guess you still have to do it again? Because it doesn't, it doesn't have it checked off. So it's not retroactive. That's kind of weird. Oh, maybe that's what's bugged? But if you have to do it again, then just do it again, right? That's kind of weird. It's so unfortunate you have to do it again. I don't have a lot of problems with redoing the mini games. It feels like you've already done them. Oh, maybe if you've already beaten the score, when you go back to do it again, it won't do it properly. I want to find out. Oh, that still hit me? That's lame. All I know is I saw Scrappy talking about it. Super aggressive in some of these, that's all. Barrel roll, barrel roll. Oh gosh, the depth perception. She hit me a bunch more times than I thought. Oh. It's hard. It's hard to see when they're shooting. Like you're, you're right here to their right here. Like you could barely see the. Just gonna spam roll. I forgot on when it's those two. You can't just, I guess you can't just spam barrel roll because it takes your charges. Great work. Keep it up, Maybe it's just better to heal tank. Maybe that's why I did the first time I did this, is just spam heals and stuff. I 
I didn't get the bonus for that. I see your tail. It's off the screen right now. Thank you. Hello? <laughs> Literally can't shoot it because it's off the screen. And it's all auto-aim. You don't aim this yourself. You pivot your ship, but it aims, aims by itself. If you pivot too far, you miss. That's hard to kill that squad. Okay, I crushed it again. Congratulations. Oh, I counted. First challenge. You've taken your first step toward becoming a true party animal. Keep making the most of your time here at the Gold Saucer until you too reach my lofty heights. That was the first one down. So even if you have the score, oh, Eric's here. What is she watching? Eric, nothing's happening. Eric, you're acting very much like an NPC right now. I don't want to tell you that before we. Some big NPC energy. 
Here to exchange points. Is there anything new to exchange for? No. Okay, let's check in. Make us proud, Space Ranger. That's unfortunate that's not retroactive. If you beat if you already beat the high score, you have to do it again. It's a little annoying. Um Let's do Wonderment next. Even though the new G bike challenge was not that hard, I was surprised. Welcome, one and all. Check out G -Bike. Is anyone here bold enough to try and beat my unprecedented high score? Challengers, step forward. Oh, I locked your character so much right here. I'll teach you not to underestimate the hidden talents of a middle manager. <laughs> yeah, see, I already beat the score. So you have to just do it again. Hmm. Which is weird because in this game, if you like make a quest item before you need it, Like if you make a quest item before you need it and you get to that part in the quest, it just says, oh, like this item, then you already have it done. It just completes. It's done that two or three other times, but this one is like, nope, go redo the something you've already done. I know they're trying to get a lot of, a lot of leg work out of all these mini games. Like at some point I thought that there was just like, there'd be too many mini games in, in Rebirth which kind of pads out the runtime to make it a larger game. It's cool because you're just on this adventure. It's very enriching. But at the same time, it's a weird balance because some of the mini games felt like, why? Like the Glide the Chocobo, the Glide the Chocobo mini game. I don't, it's three courses. That's it. And the last one is super awkward and frustrating and it doesn't really mean to be there for the story to progress. It's just, it's almost like too much, but I've already beaten this as well, so. Oh, that actually hurts me? Oh, I didn't know that. When their bikes blow up? this one is that you're always kind of taking damage they're always shooting at you get that break those The song 
is awesome though. Really? I should have healed. A little less than my previous best by that last bike, I guess, that ran by. Yeah, there we go. Completed. Check mark. Oh no, is this the bug? I just did though. Did that not count? Hmm. Curious. I definitely just did more than 32,000 and it didn't count. Let's go try the... It, it said I got a ultimate party animal point. Let's try a different one and then we can always check and check back. Alright. Chocobo me. And that might be the bug. Exactly. Like the G-bike one isn't counting. Chocobo Racing Showdown. Oh, see, this is like a different thing. Yeah, the I'll have to look up and see if there's people that have figured out how to make it work. Because there's clearly one other challenge. There's only four that show up now, but it's five you have to do. But I should have the G-Bike one, but G-Bike loads you in to a different thing. I mean, you go to a different load screen. You don't just do it from the, the Shinra dude. So what kind of race is this? It doesn't show me what the course was. <laughs> Special race. Oh, it's just 1v1? What is he... What is this chocobo wearing? What is this music though? This is all a sight read. Hairpin. Bro, I'm a Chocobo racing legend. He's right behind me, though. And by right behind me, I mean right in front of me. Too bad I have a blue shell. Oh 
Oh my god. It's like literally like new metal chocobo music right now. I don't know how you can 1v1 against Selena though. Once you get ahead of me, I just hit you with the choco bubble and you're like, oh, there's all my momentum. That's a cheeky way to use a attack to our door. He's already a few seconds behind me. I'm not gonna, gonna bounce up. Uh, just wait. Wait. I'm too far ahead to even matter at this point. I want to send my choco bubble and see if it'll lap and then hit him. I don't think it goes that far though. Oh. Well, that's not good. That one is a uh, dead stop. I tried to super drift past it. Pretty sure it's gonna time out. It'd be funny if it hit him. Ah, crap. Dude, I'm, I'm like stuck on the hitbox. Did you see that? I couldn't move. That's unfortunate. There goes a better lap, I guess. Whatever. You can't like reverse on your chocobo. It's forward and sideways. So I was very stuck there. the hardest obstacle in all these races is the stupid doors. Yeah, I lost 10 seconds. The Mecha Chocobo. It's the a Bardic. Congrats on clearing the second challenge. You've now earned the title of typical party animal. It's just the start. Oh. But I'm sure you'll continue to rise through the ranks. So don't lose that party spirit. That's so dumb. Unless there's a bit, is there an order you're supposed to do these? Ultimate party animal seriously lost? I am now a typical party animal. Where would you like to go, Kubo? I guess we're battle squaring it. Do G bike after. Have yourselves a magical day. There he is! But does he have what it takes to overcome the series of battles designed by the ultimate party animal? See, a lot of these go into the challenge through the middle manager, but G-Bike doesn't. A series of three-person bouts in which you pick your team, participating in a rollicking combat spectacle designed by a overzealous Shinra middle manager who stayed up all night organizing it. We'll just, we'll just squat up.
Okay. Hopefully it's not like Take suddenly Tom berries. Two of these at the same time though is not gonna be fun. Because if they both AoE at the same time, I just die. Oh boy, I love controlling my character in, in video games. Love, I love controlling my character in video games. They were gonna they were gonna naturally block those. Is that going to go off? I don't think so. Music going a little crazy right now, though. job with okay so the best way to counter the needle attacks is just to dodge or to, to, to sorry to block that cuts it down by about 60 percent oh Yeah, that's what I was afraid of. Yep. Just hang on. So this is not hard. It's I have to have the karmic cowls on. Lame, dude. So that's the way it's gonna be. I freaking knew it. Since the developers made a game too big where they kind of ran out of weird ideas to make stuff challenging so just like you know so what sure you do better than that but what a shame don't give up though shut up idiot <laughs> how to make something hard for the players oh i don't know how about just have them fight 12 ton berries that will be difficult right 12 ton berries anyway And they need to put things in the game for players to use those items on. I, I get it. But 
whatever look now i'm not gonna get one shot amazing although i do want to assess the ton berries see your strength up whoops whoops I forgot to assess them last time. if there's any more special more, ones oh, ready to take me on yeah stupid so I can't even walk in on the tonberries without that ability so that's fine deal with that Pressured and needle raining. Hey, don't overdo it. One, two, seven. Now I'm getting hit. I think Tifa's dead here. Yep. Still in it. Please. Switching targets so quickly. Strong, okay? He didn't cast it. Too much? Someone looks kind of shaky. Guess it was well, that was way worse than the previous I attempt. I, I, I keep saying it, man. This game is so good story-wise that some of the combat challenges are really stupid. Just do damage to me. Stop knocking me over. Stop interrupting my abilities. The moment I queue them up, stop letting me not control my character. It happens so much in these harder challenges because they added in the parry button. But you can't just stand around blocking and parrying all day because the enemy doesn't give a fuck. You can only input so many attacks. If the enemy inputs more than you, you can't counter it. You have to just go on the defensive. Keep it together. All set. Get him. Just a weird, a weird balancing point. So how are you supposed to not get hit by that? I dodged away and got hit. I can't go any farther away. <laughs> Some of the cheese builds, I can see why people made them. And she got interrupted. They knocked over. I don't understand the point of being pressured and still doing an immediate attack. Cool. With the tanky item on. Oi, oi, oi. Hello? My, my spell? Okay? 
My turn. What? what is happening? Let's do this. Can't last too much longer against this one. La 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 la. The, the music is crazy right now. Deal with that. I got this. <laughs> Come on. Copy. Can't cast. We'll get interrupted. Okay, up and at him. So done with cactuars, man. After that damn mini game. Alright. It's on you. All set. You can still get damage, but we will not get one shot. Still do that. I'm coming. I'd keep my distance if I were you. Sorry about that. Can you take over? Let's for do me? this. Keep it together. was the gimmick fight what's next now good night mutton have a good night man good night good night talk more later what is that the ember zoo Carryable looks like. Best do it right. Deal with that. I got this. Go. Go. I got you. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Bro. 
Oh, should I queue that up a little earlier? Okay, that was a joke. What's next? Not a joke? Two jokers and a big frog. Go on. The Gigantoad. I got your number. Yeah, you have to hit its tongue. I have to kill the jokers first, though, because they're going to keep spamming those cards. Can be slept. That I sleep on right now, though. All right. Okay. It's gonna be a lot of not being able to control my characters coming in. I bet. Man. Maybe it's ignore them and get the frog first then? Because it can be easily pressured. I'm just gonna keep spamming cards though. Hang in there. Yeah, figured. Oh man. Oh god, I hate getting hit from like off screen where you can't do anything about it. You just get hit. Really annoying. Wind. I'll take care of them. One more shot. Hate it. I hate it. So annoying. Can I get him out of the way? No. Do you try? Yes. Do you still get hit? Yes. Keep it up. Uh, yep, yeah, saw that coming. Painfully obnoxious, man. Go on. Sorry, but I gotta. It's from off screen and it's so fast and you can't dodge it. This one's for you. Can't even do anything to see it. Here it comes again. Is that it? I, <laughs> I hate it. It's your turn. Take it over. There it comes again. Yep, can't can't dodge it. There it comes again. Yep, there it is. Yeah. 
Here it comes again. Apparently he hit someone with it, even though I'm eight years away. ideal timing but I don't know if that is a good idea and hit apparently I just, I just hate the knocked down, knocked over, stunned, interrupted meta that this game has brought in. It's really not very fun. Dude. I was even waiting for it. And the moment I saw like the flash, I hit dodge instantly on me. Good, good. Off screen. Very, very helpful. Thank you. Absolute hate. Hey, look, I'm so far away. I was ready to dodge. Still hit. Just instantly hit. Don't know why they thought that was a good idea. I can't even attack this guy because that one's going to hit me. Yep. doing your Radiant Warden. Doesn't make me any less super frustrating, though. Thank you. Lend me your strength. <laughs> hey, coming. Saw that coming. Stop it. Yep. Everything Still knocks you over, even if you're in the ward. No need to panic. I hate it. I really, really don't know why that was a good idea. I don't have to res Cloud because he will get resed uh, in the next round. miserable just just miserable
them all warmed up. Okay. What's the fifth round gonna be? That was only round four. Oh, really? That's cool. I mean, it makes it worth it. That's a neat. That's a neat enemy. Best do it right. Okay, Ironclad. What's up, bud? This makes no sense. It shouldn't exist anymore. Like, how does this Shinra guy have an ironclad? This doesn't make any sense. That's funny. Okay, so when they sharpen, you have to pressure. Got it. <laughs> That's fun. Here we go. Uh, excuse me? I have the, uh, no die on? Apparently that avoids it. That's fine. Apparently I can't, uh, avoid the, uh, I guess it does just, it does 9999 damage. It doesn't actually do a, a one hit. Why can I not hit him? Buff, I think. Here, just get ahead of the game here. Whoops, whoops, whoops. If that's just a frontal, then that's not a big deal. land yeah. see the more straightforward final fantasy fights not bad the gimmick ones super annoying That was cool though. An ironclad is neat. Just wish the previous rounds weren't. Congrats on clearing the third challenge. Stupid gimmicks. I hereby proclaim you a renowned party animal. The people are starting to stand up and yeah. take notice. But you still have a long way to go. Don't you dare slow down now. The party must go full speed ahead. It's <laughs> so dumb. Well, I think that'll do it for this one sufficiently a little bit frustrated but that's okay renowned party animal 
if you've been watching live hope you've enjoyed the little bit of frustration but the uh combat nevertheless and of course if you've been watching on youtube there's a lot of other series if you want to watch more got all of 16 all of seven with the dlc got both god of wars both jedi games all three dark souls all the dlc all of bloodborne i got a lot there's a lot of a lot of playthroughs if you would like but until then, I will see you in the next one while I head over here and see if we can unbugify this quest. So what ones? Hmm. Why does it show him at... Yeah, it says G-Bike. Hmm.